Hello everybody, my name is Adam or Epos Vox and welcome to part 2 of my Chroma King tutorial. If you missed the first part, we will be using now we will now be using Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe After Effects. I'm using CS6, but this will apply in versions as far back as CS4 or earlier and as new as the newer Creative Cloud versions. For the purposes of this tutorial, Anthony, aka Spitfire, or YouTube School Manager, has provided us with the clip of him being goofy in front of his green screen with his webcam. Now, in the previous tutorial, I showed you, hello, showed you how to do a basic green screen cutout using Premiere Pro's chroma key effect using your footage. But in this video, I'm going to show you a bit more precise and accurate and nicer looking way of doing chroma keying using both Premiere and After Effects. Premiere and After Effects play together quite well, and so I really like doing this effect. So now we're gonna take our we're gonna take our background clip here, which is just a still image, expand it out to 30 seconds, put it on video track one so it's behind everything just like last time. And also just like last time we're gonna put our green screen track here on video two. I'm gonna cut a new portion of the clip and we're gonna use this to chroma key. But instead of using any sort of effects in Premiere, we're simply going to right click our green screen clip and hit replace with After Effects composition. This will take a couple minutes to load as it needs to load After Effects and create a new project here. So depending on your computer, this could cause a bit of a delay. Just got to load all your plugins. It's going to tell me one of mine is bad. That's fine. I have duplicates of one for some reason. It's going to ask you to save your Premiere project. Go ahead and just save that in the same folder, or your After Effects project. Go ahead and save that in the same folder as your Premiere folder. That's fine. And then it creates a new composition based on your clip. Now, similar to in Premiere, in order to chroma key this out, we're going to find a good still shot here. We're going to make sure our layer clip is selected here. Go up to Effect, Effect, go to Keying. And instead of just chroma key, we're going to use what's called key light 1.2. If this is not in After Effects for you, you most likely pirated your copy of After Effects. And while you may be able to pirate key light, it's actually a lot harder to get if you don't actually get it built into After Effects, and I cannot help you. Now, once key light shows up in your effects control panel here, you have similar options to what you had in Premiere, just a bit more control. You want to make sure view is on final result. Always. And then we're going to go ahead and use green color here, use the eyedropper tool, and just grab a green from Anthony's green screen. Immediately, just by clicking once, you can see it already did a great job of chroma keying out his background. That's it. I mean, there's going to be more things we can change and play with, but compared to our original clip here in After Effects, here I'll make a test file and show you what we originally did, which was with the chroma key option. In After Effects, it looks so much better. So, in, or in Premiere, we chose our color, and then we cranked up similarity until we got to a decent point, and that's what we ended up with. You got a bit of a green outline. It starts cutting into the shirt, things like that. Pretty lazy color crack or chroma key. However, in After Effects with Key Light, you immediately just by choosing your color get a better result because it already has a certain amount of similarity built into it. If we scroll through here, it doesn't look bad at all. It actually looks really, really good. Now, if you have a webcam that's not as good as Anthony's or are not getting quite as clean of a cutout as we are here, and look at that, that just looks great. You can then play around with the screen gain and balance. These are what's going, they're similar, these are very similar to similarity and um, and blend, blending on the Premiere version. But here you can start, if you turn up screen gain, you can really start to cut in on the edges of Anthony but darken him up at the same time. So it's kind of a trade off of cutting off his hair and changing the glass colors a bit but kind of darkening and saturating him a bit more. And then screen balance, I don't need to keyframe that. Screen balance is going to kind of do the, that in a reverse sense. So if we turn it down, it's going to completely hollow them out. Turn it up, not going to look 
too bad, but you can see his glasses and things start to get red. So we're gonna find a decent balance. And while his gaming glasses certainly don't look yellow anymore, he looks quite a bit better. However, he is very red. So we're gonna turn these back down so he doesn't look quite as red. And then we're gonna hit Control S to save, go back into Premiere, and we have a wonderfully keyed Anthony. Look at that. Even when his hand is moving, there's no green there. That's all it takes. That is all it takes. To me, that makes there no reason to do a lazy green screen. But that's just me. So that is how you get a very precise, accurate, and clean looking chroma key using Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe After Effects. One important thing to note is when you are rendering out your project using Adobe Media Encoder or just encoding in Premiere here, you must leave After Effects open. If you close After Effects before your render finishes, it's then going to make your media offline and it's not going to render it properly. So leave After Effects open. Hope you enjoyed this video guys, hope it was helpful to some. And as always, thank you very, very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching Epos and Chew. Let's play together. If you enjoyed the video, consider clicking on the screen to contribute to our Patreon campaign. To watch another video, click on one of the video annotations on the screen above. Links are also provided to our website, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter pages. See you next time.